stay like that for the entire rest of the shot. I love what I'm and doing. The, yeah. <laughs> they're that, not pressuring me to be on he's video. He's going to start blinking out in Morse code. Oh, help me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, this, this that is, is my friend. <laughs> you look so uncomfortable. <laughs> so uncomfortable. Yeah. Just relax, man. Right, cool. He's usually yeah. not allowed to be within 20 feet of somebody yeah. who's yeah. so young. But. He has to call me before he comes over. So. <laughs> look, man. No judgments. <laughs> no judgments. As long as everyone's safe and okay. Yeah. We're, we're all in a safe spot. Yes, yeah, so we're in a safe spot. Mm -hmm. And you can now see that he's in a safe he's spot. Because he's back in frame. Because, you know, it wasn't punishment. It was it's just... <laughs> we, we try and do these things for you. Call like, for help. <laughs> Call the what was that on Reddit snippet? <laughs> Call yeah, the police. Call the police. <laughs> we well, try and throw out some happy videos, some good conversations, and you know, technical. Steve awesomeness. Steve wanders, and then when he doesn't wander, he makes me want to hit the dump button every three seconds. So, yeah, cool. Here we are. DC. <laughs> <laughs> Just following you guys back and forth. Good. Oh, okay. Someone has to. Okay. Deflect from Steve. He doesn't want to be. <laughs> he doesn't want to be talked about anymore. So DC. Right. Yeah. So just a multiverse. Just, that's that would be my best way to. Like I know some people say they don't like certain things. That's how I put it into my head. Okay. This wasn't a very good version of something. Let's just, let's just say. Oh, that was. That's on a different Earth somewhere. I feel like this is how Warner Brothers could get back some of those stories. If that they the cherry pick the see. best of everything and put it into one movie, mm -hmm. like e everybody loved the Killing Joke or you know the Dark Knight yeah. Returns, and right. maybe you can get an older Bruce Wayne in there with you know a Joker who's still you know, and then have established villains instead of origin stories all the time. And it's like, like yeah. you said, they're beating people over the head. Well, okay, here's how the Riddler, you know, got his crazy cane, and uh, all right, we know the backstory. You know, give us, give us the, you know, we don't want appetizers anymore. Yeah. We want yeah. steak. Just give and us then, something new, yeah. but stop telling us that it's a tweak on their origin story. Right. Supergirl, I've been a big fan of Supergirl mm -hmm. since since I was a kid. Like, who, who doesn't want a pretty woman in a, in a blue and red outfit saving the day? I mean, yeah. If I'm off of a... We welcome did, we to did, reading yeah. comic books. Yeah. We did follow <laughs> Supergirl for, for a while, yeah. I think. I don't know, we fell off of all of them because at some point they just kind of went in. Eh. Yeah. Like like you said, you watched Gotham all the way through. Yeah. We fell off in like season four. Really. Season two. Yeah. <laughs> season, we made it to yeah. season four. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't make it. I didn't make it past two. Because it it just for some reason it just the interest got lost and I'm not well, like when it comes to Flash I can tell you exactly why I dropped off Flash because I've been Flash fan my entire life. Mm -hmm. And they Barry dress. Allen Flash? Or? Yeah, they do disrespect the Flash. They disrespect. They disrespected so much, mm -hmm. and just jumped so many. We're gonna do this timeline, this timeline, this timeline. That he's gonna yeah. mess up the verse here, and he's gonna do this, and it hurt me because I was because I was the true comic book fan. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't handle it because. And that if, was you one, if you have that one hero that you love the most from comics, yeah. and you've watched them from beginning to end and read the entire run, when they adapted it to TV, mm -hmm. they took so many liberties yeah. that it killed me. Yeah, and that's probably why you, you tuned out on Gotham, too, because it wasn't set in any specific universe. They introduced yeah. characters that, you know, Harvey Dent was there, but Two-Face never fruitioned. Uh, the guy who you thought was the Joker for the five seasons that right. he was on, for some <laughs> copyright reason, you could barely say the letter J yeah. to say yeah. who this guy yeah, was. But they, but they did Penguin proper, though. They did Penguin proper yeah. because, Penguin you know what, good. it was a cool thing the way they did it because he didn't come as this rich, entitled gangster. He started out as a dishwasher and was a flunky and for the big bat, you know, the Fish Mooney character, yeah. Yeah, Fish and, Mooney. and yeah. made his way up through there. But it was just like, and then, like I said, the Scarecrow character was very well done. That developed really nicely towards the end, mm -hmm. where it wasn't the father, it was the son who took yes. over. So we were, yeah, we were there through the Scarecrow. Yeah. We watched that. Mm -hmm. But how does t television and film tell the story better or worse? Like, when you watch a TV show of a movie, it's different. Right. When you watch a movie version of a television show, 
Well, and it's also right. too with television. What, what, what is that? You think you have a whole year's worth of programming in order to get your story told. If you're making a movie, you figured, okay, I got two hours tops to get across what I need to get across. That's why you know, with uh, with the Dark Knight trilogy, the way that started off, they did the stuff that you didn't think of. You know, at the beginning, yes, it was an origin story, but dude didn't show up till an hour and twenty minutes into the movie as Batman. You found out why, you know, the Joe Chill angle that he killed his parents, okay. yeah. and you found out why Lucius Fox is just like, you know, the whole time you just accept the fact that okay, he's a billionaire and has all these weapons, but where is he getting them? You know, does he have minions on in the back cave? You know, putting all these things together? No, it's just military stuff that was pushed off to the side, and that he was, you know. Lucius was his inside guy, and it was just like they did that really cool in the Gotham thing too. But of course, you know it was young Bruce Wayne throughout the whole thing. But Lucius played a crucial part in helping GCPD. Yeah, and very like, crucial. Yeah, role. was Lucius? Did you finally take that popcorn out of your pocket? Is, <laughs> did you, dude, <laughs> fine. <laughs> that was what two hours ago, I think, man. Uh, yeah, That's sorry. restraint. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> you're eating that popcorn like a boot. That is a calm you're just, gentleman. You're just right like. Now. Heavenly that is Father, a bam, finally, you're just like, oh, Ghana, bam. It's about that time. <laughs> it's about that time. Was Lucius or Bruce Wayne even mentioned in the new Joker movie? Uh, Lucius, no. Bruce Wayne had about 20 seconds, maybe yeah. a minute and a half worth of film time. Same with Alfred. Yeah. And they made... Uh, they but made that was Bruce, such a made, different story. They made, they did, but here's, and here's what bothers me about Joker. Fantastic movie. If they would have just... Not based it in the DC universe. It would have been just an awesome just like a taxi alone. driver. Yeah. See, back this is back to our issue. Every time you slap the name Joker on it and make everybody think that it's going to be true yeah. to Joker, yeah, right. and it's not. There was literally Thomas Wayne, Bruce Wayne, Arkham Asylum. No other mention of any other DC character. No Commissioner Gordon. No. No, uh, like I said, Arkham Asylum was mentioned, you know, that's where his mother was at one time. They made Thomas Wayne as this insufferable Donald Trump character right. asshole yeah. instead I mean, of the philanthropist it. that he was yeah. in every other version of what he was. That it made it seem like he was the illegitimate son of this guy and he wanted nothing to do with him. But you got a guy with messed up makeup on his face and call him a joker. Yeah. And so here's, here's your DC stamp. I mean, it and literally... It literally here's your could, stamp, give me your money. I mean, seriously, yeah. you could have just took DC out of it yep. and it, eliminate Arkham Asylum, put it as Jonestown Hospital, and Thomas Wayne is now Fred Schwartz, and you could have been mm -hmm. like, this is, let's call it movie Psycho Clown. Yeah. And it yeah. would have been the same, you know what I mean? It would have been the same great movie, great performances, but... It would have been a great movie, but you could have called it so many other things. Yeah. It would not have destroyed the legacy that Joker built up to that point. Yeah, and because it's such a good movie, now people are wanting him in more movies, which and they is... Th and they think that's how... Yeah. They, and they think <laughs> that that's, that's Joker. the Joker. Yeah. No! No. That's yeah. nowhere close to the origin story. He got dumbed in the static. Yeah. Well, there was a couple. I mean, it all depends. Which one are you looking at? The Red Hood version? Or are you looking? You what know, version? What version do you look at? Well, see, I what I thought it originally was was just them doing like an Elseworld story off to the side. Like, hey, this is just one iteration of a specific Joker. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I've, I've kind of grown up on the Ace Chemicals with uh, yeah. the the comedian that just. The failed comedian. So you're talking about the Killing Joke storyline, where he was yeah, the comedian who got mixed up with the mob, mm -hmm. put the red hood on, yes. splat bam into the chemicals, and then he went nuts. Right. That's the one I'm most familiar with. Yeah. I love it. Uh, it's probably the best storyline. I would yeah. say that that's it, the best it's Joker probably the most line. consistent, like you said, and just yeah. the most plausible. Yeah. It's just seeing some guy that like. It's always nice to know that. You're not supposed to know yeah. his backstory. That's that's always really and that's cool. the thing that goes back mean, to the whole Rob the Zombie Nolan. criticism, where yes. it's just like the the less you know, the more you can do in your mind. Like, how do you think I got these scars? He told three different stories, and each one was a lie. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah. know that. That was the best part about that joke. Yeah. character, in my opinion, was the best part was every time he tried to tell you. He told the character another mm -hmm. story. Yeah, exactly. It changed all the time. It's like, okay, now yep. I understand how psychopathic, how effed up, how weird. This is not 
a happy character. Yeah. This is a bad man. Yeah. And right. they portrayed it in such a way where you saw it and you're like, this is a man to be feared. Yeah. This is this is not cool. Yeah. This is yuck. And it's like if you want to compare the two of them, you know, he and at one point when he was he was like, "Do I look like a guy with a plan?" Yeah. And like the the Joaquin Phoenix, at one point he was just like, "Do I look like the kind of guy who can start a movement?" He deflects off of himself when he is the Pied Piper leading the rats down to the children, <laughs> and it's just you know he he's the man behind the curtain. He's the odd. He's the wizard. Yeah. He's the one pulling all the strings. And it's just like he, he, he knows, you know, the wills of men and how he can corrupt people. And, you know, that was the, the great... Was it, was it his condition, his psychopathic condition that gave him that? Or was it something he found through him being... Well, and like I said, he just had such a sheltered life where his mom was brainwashing him all these years. Because he was and taking care of... He was, he was taking care of her, but he was on the medicine and he had this... Cr which, man... Falls out to that for saying that it was a condition that he had to laugh all the time. Not that, that he just that, okay, I've, perfect. I, yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. I've heard that. Well, and it it's was, fantastic, yeah. man. It was just a really just an awesome part where nobody's ever told that before, and it's out there. You can YouTube it. There's guys who can literally die from laughing because they choked themselves to death and right. can't catch a breath. But it was just like, it, as a movie, as a DC movie, great. But you know, where do you where do you lump it in? It has nothing to do with the Dark Knight. It has nothing to do with the, any of the Tim Burton movies. It's literally just like, okay, here's a nice shiny trophy that we're gonna put over here. It's a great movie on its own. But what and, are you gonna do with it? And that's just, what brings us right back to you and the comments that you were making. That's cool. Even even as I'm not gonna say spokesman for his entire generation, but as for sitting here with us. It's made some super valid points. I'm so happy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but, you, you, with you, you, your oversaturation comments yeah. and your facts that that don't slap a name on it, and then expect us to believe that this is that's called that true, yeah. and that and that's where we're at and that's where we're stuck. Like we go back, you know, an hour ago to when you were talking about I want the new movies, I want the shiny movies, I want this. But do you want them to be true to character, yeah, or do you, you can do both, or do you just slap a name? Thank you. Yeah, you can do both. Do both with. <laughs> and here's both. the thing: yes. with the Joker movie, you could you could have slipped in a couple of villains in there. Like right. I think at one point they were talking about giant rats in the city, which is kind of a nod back to the one. Catcher. There you go. Yeah. And it's kind of a, you know, <laughs> thank you. And only his generation you would know that because friend. that guy kind of came in towards the end, you know, Holy where shit. it was like Dollmaker yeah. and all the kind of like you know, lower yeah. tier villains of stuff like that. But giant rats eating, you know, attacking the city. I'm just like, it's a rat cat. You know, it was just like, but I didn't know if they were going to do that. But even if, like, at the end of the movie where, you know, he put like the, the Chelsea grin with the blood at the end and was just kind of like this Jesus Christ figure, yeah. if they would have had like, you know, a guy, you know, maybe with maybe like an Edward Nigma pin where he was just like, you know, infatuated. Or, or Mr. Freeze with a snow globe. Or, or just like something, anything. you know. Yeah. yeah. Anything. Was it, then I feel like, like I said, leave, DC can have their connected stuff. This is what could distinguish them from Marvel. Make everything dark. DC has their connected stuff that is, I mean, after you get the characters built up first. Right. <laughs> they just... They haven't, they haven't done that yet. They're only they're concerned about money. Which right. Is why I just... Uh, sure, but then you don't want to guys. fall down that thing like what Universal did with their monster movies with oh, The Mummy, oh. which was so balls out awful. The Mummy and Tom, Tom Cruise, Cruise could, crap. Yeah, uh, even though he's yeah, running yeah. for, again, in a movie, watch every Tom Cruise movie. He runs. He yeah. runs. Yeah. yeah. And same way with Joaquin Phoenix. Phoenix. <laughs> he's literally <laughs> running throughout half of that movie, whether it's away from Mugger or stealing stuff from Arkham Asylum or whatever, but that's it's a tr that's a trope. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, like you said, I, it would it would would it just a great standalone movie. I don't know why they had to involve any type of name because nothing from any comic book source or any kind of written material was in the movie. Yeah, you know the name or whatever. He the you know, he never played a clown at any birthday parties or anything like that. He was either a stand up comedian or a mobster. Or uh, a henchman, or anything. Even going back to the Jared Leto version, which I'll know I'll get beat up for this. I didn't hate it completely. <laughs> Me neither. And here's the thing: because in that universe, that's what he was. In that neon universe, you know, maybe without the tattoos or all that, that was a little bit much. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can but see where that But in that was... universe where you're like a crime underlord, you're gonna behave like that. Well, see, yeah. The way I. I view it, my, my opinion of when you have Joker in the, the whole DC universe, that expanded world, 
I go by the story that there's three different Jokers. Mm -hmm. You could have them span uh, throughout three different time periods, or it could be three dudes at one time. But I feel like that's the best way to explain either if you want to have the Joker be separate or all these different Jokers be in the, the universe. There's mm -hmm. three different ones. Batman never knows who was who at one, what time. I think I remember reading the one comic where he, he had some kind of computer that could uh, tell him uh, answers to almost any question he asked. And he wanted to know who the Joker was, and the computer asked him which one. And like the way Batman just his face like, dropped, was shocked. like he was just like, "Oh great, now I got to deal with one yeah. more of these maniacs yeah. out there." And it's just, and that, I think that would be a cool way to have Joker without the saturation thing. So you have all these different versions that could. So work. basically, you're making the Joker like Kiss. No matter who's in the makeup, it's yeah. always Kiss up on stage playing the same songs. Same thing it. with Guar. Yep, exactly. You know, the parts are interchangeable. Yeah. No matter what's going on. You Dread know. Pirate Roberts. Or you can tie it Menudo. Yeah. You, you, you drag, you drag out every five years or so. Hey, you hit fifteen. Or, yeah. DC's, it. DC's known for its multi.